In September 28, 2015, Ghassan saw this dream. I was going somewhere in the darkness of the night, but I myself didn't know where I was going. As I kept walking, I saw Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laying on a bed under the night sky. I ran up to him, sat down, and asked him, why are you laying here? Why aren't you sleeping in your home? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, son, which home? The house I made was taken over by bad people, and the believers who were in my house ran away in groups, and the ones who have taken over my home are damaging it severely. At that moment, my eyes looked into the wet eyes of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They were beyond astonishing. I was so captivated and I just couldn't look away. It felt as if his eyes were filled with all of the nur of Allah. It was such an unbelievable and amazing moment for me. Tears started flowing down his eyes as he told me my son, free my house from those people with Allah's help and rebuild my house again. Unite my nation into one and then lead them to their destiny. And don't be afraid of anyone for Allah is with you. He will help you in every moment and every condition. You are my son after all and it's impossible for the mercy of Allah to skip my son. I looked firmly into the wet eyes of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I told him that no matter how dangerous or difficult this work is, I will do it with the help of Allah. These words filled his eyes with pure happiness. Then he called upon Allah, saying, Help my son. I started to walk, and then the nur of Allah brightened my path to the house of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When I got there, I told myself that this is my house now. I saw men on the roof with weapons, preventing anyone from coming in. The nur of Allah appeared on my right hand index finger, and it destroyed them. I stepped inside of the house only to find out that it turned into an empty cave. I was so depressed to find out that there weren't any Muslims around. I started looking around for the Muslims thinking where are they all and how will I call them. And then I called out saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Some Muslims heard the call and the dream ended there.